guys this is Mohyuddin in this video I will teach you how to install WordPress on Amazon Linux 2 AMI so let's get started so right now I am logged into my AWS account so now let's go to EC2 now let's click on launch instance okay now let's name our instance as Amazon Linux to server okay so the Amazon Linux to AMI is selected by default and we can confirm it by here Amazon Linux to AMI okay everything else is fine now let's select our instance we will select c6a.large the key pair would be WordPress EFS and the network settings we can leave everything as it is but just select the existing group should be so I have already created an uh, security group temp and in this group I have allowed all type of traffic to my server that is HTTP, HTTP, SSH, everything okay so now let's configure our storage so the storage should be let's keep it to 50 volume gp3 let's keep the IF to the maximum limit which is 16,000 okay encryption yes and now let's scroll down further so throughput 125 is fine but let's keep it 300 because there is not much price difference even if we do it 300 okay so now let's click on launch instance okay guys so our instance is now launching so it's in the our instance is in running state but let's wait for the instance status check to be passed okay guys so as you can see the status check has been successfully passed so now let's SSH into our instance using putty okay so now let me grab the IP address of the instance Okay, now let's select the SSH key. So, you as you guys remember that when I was launching the instance, I selected WordPress EFS as the SSH key, right? So, now let's select that again. Open. Accept. So, we will use EC2-user as the username to log into our server. So, guys, we have now successfully logged in into our server. So, now let's first install Apache okay so for that we will run this command okay guys so Apache has been successfully installed so now let's install some of the Apache packages okay guys so we have successfully enabled the HTTP modules so now let's start the Apache server okay guys so Apache has been successfully started so now let's enable this service so what enable does is that whenever you will restart the server the Apache will automatically be restarted but if you do not run the enable command when you will restart the server the apache service will stop and now you guys will wonder that why our your server is not working okay and the website will be down so this command is very important okay perfect guys so now let's make sure that apache has been successfully installed so now let me open the ip address of the server in the incognito mode and remember to type http before the ip address not https because right now we do not have SSL installed on the server okay so now let me open it so okay guys so as you can see Apache 2.4 has been successfully installed on the server so now let's proceed with installing uh, PHP okay so I will install PHP 7.4 okay so sudo system
So if you guys want to install PHP 8.0, you would just have to replace 7.4 with 8.0. Okay. So now let's click on installation. Okay guys, so PHP 7.4 has been successfully installed now on the server. So now let's install MariaDB for our database. So for that we will run this command sudo amazon linux extras install MariaDB and the version would be 10.5. Okay. And let me put minus y in the end. So this minus y, what this does is that it automatically says yes whenever the MariaDB installs for the, uh, you know, ask for the permission. So this is what I'm doing now. Okay guys, so MariaDB has now successfully installed. So now let's restart our, uh, sorry, let's start our MariaDB server. Okay guys, now enable it just like we enabled HTTPD. Okay, perfect guys. So now let's secure our MariaDB, MariaDB server. So for that we would run this command sudo mysql secure installation okay ah sorry uh, no it would work okay so and the current password for you so we currently do not have any password set for the root user so we would press enter we would press n do you want to change the password yes okay so i would uh, keep the password as demo one two three four enter demo one two three four okay perfect so for all the options we will select while okay guys so we have now successfully secured our mariadb server so now let's proceed with installing uh, PHP my admin okay so but uh, actually before that let's fix some of the server permissions so as you guys know that when we SSH into our instance we use the username EC2 user okay but this user does not have permissions to read and write to the root directory where we will of the server where we will install the WordPress so to fix that we would run these commands okay so first of all let's add this user ec2 user to the apache group okay so let me run this command here okay fine now let's change the group ownership of the wordpress root folder and where is the root folder the root folder is bar triple w and anything else in the folder so this is the command we will run okay fine now let's run this command Okay, great. Now to finish it off with this one. Okay, guys, perfect. So don't worry about these every these things. I would put a link to this file in the video description. Okay. So now let's proceed with installing PHP my admin. So we would install everything in this directory. Okay, slash what triple w slash html. This is basically the root directory of the Apache server. So we will keep all our WordPress, PHP, MyAdmin, everything else that we will install onto the server in this directory. Okay. So now let's navigate to this directory. Okay. So now we are successfully into the HTML directory. Okay. So now let's install some of the PHP packages for the PHP, MyAdmin to work properly. Okay guys, so these packages have been installed. Now let's restart the Apache server. Okay, so now restart PHP FPM as well. Okay, fine. So now let's download PHP MyAdmin. Okay, 
so this command will download php my admin from the official website of the php my admin okay guys so php my admin has been now successfully downloaded so now let's create a folder where will we will extract all the php my admin setup okay so i will name the folder as php my admin okay perfect the folder has been successfully created so now let's extract the php my admin setup into this folder with this command okay guys so the setup has been successfully extracted so now run this command to remove the setup file okay uh, let me show you which file i am talking about so i am talking about this file okay the tar file so this command will remove it okay guys perfect so as you can see now there is only one folder in this root directory of the server that is php my admin okay so next okay so next we will install wordpress under the apache root document so for that we will run this command so as you can know we are already in the html folder which is the root uh, for, uh, folder of the server so now let's run this command this command will download all the wordpress files okay the files have been successfully downloaded so now run this command to extract all these files okay perfect so all these files have been extracted into this folder wordpress let me show you so this is the folder wordpress so right now all our installation files are in the wordpress so now we will move all of these files to the root folder that is html so for that we would run this command okay fine now let me show you guys so okay guys so as you can see all the wordpress files have been successfully copied from this wordpress folder to the root folder that is slash var slash triple w slash html so as you can see there is html okay so now next we would fix some of the wordpress permissions so as you know wordpress uses permalinks so to allow wordpress to use this permalinks we would have to make modifications to this uh, folder okay so let me just copy this command paste it here okay okay guys so now we are in this directory so let me just change one thing in this directory okay guys so in this directory slash var slash triple w slash html we would replace this none with all okay so for that i would first of all press i to go into the insert mode then backspace type all in the all capitals okay now i would press escape and then colon wq okay guys so now we have been successfully uh, exited this uh, file and all our changes have been successfully saved okay so that's what we just did okay we just uh, replaced uh, none with this all okay so perfect okay guys so now let's first uh, before installing wordpress let's create a database for our wordpress website so for that what i will do is i will just uh, type the ip address of this server and put it slash php my admin okay now let's go here okay guys so now in the username i will type root in the password i will type demo one two three four okay perfect guys so now we have been successfully logged into the php my admin panel so now let's create a new database by clicking here new so i would name the database as demo one two three okay so uh, in fact let's keep it simple so demo create okay fine now let's just open the ip address of our server okay guys so you can see the wordpress setup has been successfully launched click on let's go database name let's put demo username root password demo 1234 let's keep everything as it is everything else as it is okay so as you can see wordpress has been successfully installed so keep the site title as uh, demo username demo password demo so 
because this WordPress is for the demo purposes, that's why I will I am typing everything as demo. But in the production, you would never want to have a username as demo and password demo. Okay, both of the password especially it should be strong and the username should never be like demo admin or something easy to guess okay so confirm use of weak password email i would just put in my email here click install wordpress okay guys so the wordpress has now been successfully installed on the server let's log into the admin panel demo demo one two three four uh oh sorry demo Okay guys, so now we have successfully installed WordPress 6.02 on our server and remember we use the Amazon Linux 2 AMI and the tech stack is LAMP stack that is Linux plus Apache plus MariaDB plus PHP. Okay guys, so now some of you might be wondering that how do we uh, install SSL on this website, right? So for that I have already made a video. I will put this that video link in the description and in the iCard as well. So make sure you check out that video to know how to install SSL on your WordPress website. Okay guys. So that's it for this tutorial guys. I hope you like the video and if you do then please like, comment, share and subscribe to the channel.